Good evening, and welcome to Langford Area Schools 2020 Awards Program. Thank you for tuning in live to tonight's virtual broadcast. It's not exactly the format that we would like to use, but we're not going to let this hinder our efforts to honor our students' achievements for this year. If you know someone who is not able to connect tonight, please tell them that tonight's program is recorded and will be uploaded to the school's YouTube channel and also Venture Cable TV's customers will be able to find it on the on-demand menu for viewing at a later date. I'd like to thank Lisa Olson for helping to set up and coordinate tonight's virtual arrangements. Although our school year has been disrupted during this last quarter, there are still many student accomplishments and achievements for us to celebrate tonight. We'd like to begin our program by announcing the honor graduates for the class of 2020. Graduating with highest honors this year are Addison Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, and Chesney Olson. Graduating with high honors is Brooklyn Crager. And graduating with honors is Nico Alvarez. Congratulations students on this most prestigious award as you prepare for your graduation. The next award I would like to present is the South Dakota Opportunity Scholarships. This scholarship is awarded to students who continue their education at a post-secondary school in South Dakota. To be eligible, students must be a resident of South Dakota and they must meet the requirements for high school graduation and receive a 24 or higher ACT score. The scholarship award is $6,500 to be awarded over four years. This year's recipients of the South Dakota Opportunity Scholarship are Addison Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, and Chesney Olson. The next academic award is Regent Scholars. This is an academic letter used to recognize graduating high school seniors who have demonstrated academic excellence through the completion of rigorous coursework in six content areas, English, math, science, social studies, modern or classical language, career and tech ed, and fine arts. This year's recipients of the Regent Scholars are Addison Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, Chesney Olson, Jacob Punt, and Brooklyn Crager. At our awards program, we like to recognize outside scholarships that our students receive. Addie Dwight has received the Dakota Wesleyan University Trustee and Academic and Athletic Scholarship to, worth $25,000. She's also received a DWU Team Maker Scholarship of $2,000, an Avira Auxiliary Scholarship of $500, a Hanson Classic Scholarship of $500, a Warner Stratford Lions Club Scholarship of $100, and a Teen Teacher Scholarship of $250. Ashley Gustafson has received the USD Valedictorian Scholarship for $500, the USD Leadership Scholarship, which is $8,000 over four years, the USD Premier Housing Scholarship, which is $2,150 per year to cover on-campus housing costs, the USD Girls State Officer, $1,000, the USD Law Honors Scholar, which gives her automatic admission to the USD School of Law upon completion of her undergrad program the USD Dr. Farber Scholarship of $1,000, the James Valley Bob Peterson Memorial Scholarship of $2,000, and a Teen Teacher Scholarship of $250. Jeremiah Hurst has received the Core Trust Bank Scholarship of $1,000. Brooklyn Krager was awarded the Jackrabbit Guarantee for $1,000 and also a Teen Teacher Scholarship of $250. Chesney Olson has been awarded the Jackrabbit Guarantee, which is a $3,000 scholarship renewable each year, the Snow Queen Scholarship for $3,500, the Venture Communications Scholarship of $500, 
Western Agency Scholarship of $500, the Duane Murtis Scholarship for $250, and a Teen Teacher Scholarship for $250. Jacob Punt has been awarded the Venture Communication Scholarship of $500 and a Teen Teacher Scholarship of $250. Congratulations, seniors, on all your scholarship awards. The Langford Endowment Scholarships, which are donated by our local uh, uh, agencies and, and organizations, those scholarships will be awarded at graduation. The next award is the American Legion Citizenship Award. And the American Legion this year has selected Chesney Olson and Josh Punt. This award is presented to a senior boy and girl who possess the high qualities of courage, honor, leadership, patriotism, scholarship, and service, which are necessary to the preservation and protection of the fundamental institutions of our government and the advancement of our society. The DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award is awarded to Ashley Gustafson. This DAR Good Citizen Award is awarded to a student who demonstrates the qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. Congratulations, students, on these outside awards. At this time, I'd like to call Mrs. Kruger up to give out oral and chirp awards. This year I had 18 students in grades 7 through 12 participate in our local Orland Terp contest, which takes place every year at the end of October in our music room. So if you've never been to a local Orland Terp contest, I highly recommend coming. And it was a big success. Unfortunately, it is our only chance for students that don't advance to districts um, to get to perform their pieces. And so out of those 18 students, I had seven of them get to advance in their selected categories. Olivia Ewalt advanced in non-original oratory, Lainey Widener advanced in poetry, Chesney Olson in humorous, Emily Palmer in serious, Cade Larson and Emily Palmer in duet. And then my reader's theater group was Emily Palmer, Cade Larson, Chesney Olson, Xander Widener and Colin Fry and four out of the six categories then advance to regions. So Chesney Olson advanced to the region in Humorous for the third year in a row. Um, our Reader's Theater group advanced to the region and they were actually selected as alternates for the state competition. And that group consisted of four juniors and one senior, Chesney, Emily, and Cade, who are veteran oral interpreters but it also included Colin and Xander, who although they're juniors had never been in oral interp before. So to go out your first year and almost make it to state is pretty amazing. And then Cade Larson and Emily Palmer made it to state for the first time in their oral interp careers. Emily and Cade made it in their duet and Emily also made it in serious reading. And so we traveled to Yankton the first weekend in December and we had a lot of fun. The state competition is just really a great opportunity for our students to see other people perform and get ideas for next year. And our senior leader this year was obviously Chesney Olson. She has been in Oral and Terp all four years that I've coached and she's actually advanced to the district competition all four years in Humorous. She did, she's advanced to the region three of those years and she's made it to state two of those years. So she's a huge senior leader and we're gonna miss her a lot next year. However, we have a lot of veteran oral interpreters who I hope will be back next year. And we have a lot of younger students who show a lot of promise. And I hope that they continue because oral interp is such a great skill for um, everyone to have. Um, it teaches you a lot of things that you can take um, to other aspects of life. And so, like I said, if you've never been to a local oral interp contest, we have at the end of October in the music room, I highly recommend you coming. I'm now going to bring Coach Larson up to talk about volleyball. Before Coach Larson comes up to give out volleyball awards, I need to correct an error I made when I was talking about outside scholarships. Um, Jacob Punt received a Venture Communication Scholarship of $500 and a Teen Teacher Scholarship of $250. 
I believe I mentioned his brother. I'm sorry, Jacob. And here is Coach Larson. Thank you, Monty. First, I'd like to thank my graduating seniors this year, Addie Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, Brooklyn Krieger, Chesney Olson, and Bailey Widener for not only a great season, but for a great LHS volleyball career. Thanks for the many hours of enjoyment and entertainment, ladies. This team has been so fun to coach over all the years. The seniors started out playing as eighth graders and as freshmen, they had a five and 16 season. They turned that around by the time they were seniors, seniors and ended with a 23 and 10 season this year with a much tougher schedule. We will miss the senior class on the volleyball court tremendously, but they have laid the groundwork for their teammates to follow. And I am sure the underclassmen are ready to step up and do just that. This year's awards, um, this player has a new position this year and she improved consistently. She worked hard all year to better herself and the team. And my defensive most valuable player this year goes to Alyssa Keo. If you watched the game, you knew right away that this player was the huge part of our offense. She got her 1,000th kill on the first game of the season and she finished her career with 1,454 kills. Our offensive most valuable player is Addie Dwight. The next player started out the season pretty strong but became a force to be reckoned with with hitting and blocking by midseason. Our most improved player this year is Hannah Miller. This next award has flopped back and forth between these two players for the last couple of years. They both bring very unique skill sets to the team. Both have been vital to the team's success over the past years, and they have both been great role models on and off the court. This year, my best all-around player goes to both Chesney Olson and Addie Dwight. <laughs> This next player, you can't deny, oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not gonna do this. All right, when you look at yourself in the screen, you're not supposed to cry. Okay, uh, you can't deny the work ethic of this next player or the team spirit that this athlete brings to the court every single day. The Lion Award this year goes to Chesney Olson. The Captain's Award goes to Addie, Chesney, Bailey, Brooklyn, and Ashley. These seniors will be greatly missed. All conference first team this year, Addie Dwight and Chesney Olson. Getting her 1,000th kill award this year was Addie Dwight. The team, the Langford area team, got all academic. Addie Dwight made all state second team. An academic all state, Addie Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, Brooklyn Krieger, and Chesney Olson. Congratulations, LHS Volleyball. Our next speaker will be Coach Rosh with football. Okay, <clears throat> hope that I'm on. Uh, somebody can, Lisa, can you tell me if you can hear me on this? I wanna make sure I'm on. Yes, you're on. Okay, and I promise I'm not gonna cry. Got that out of the way for the night. So you'll have to bear with me with my 1980s technology abilities here, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, football, um, just to recap our season, I thought we had a really good year. We finished six and three on the year, four and one in the conference, which placed us second uh, behind Warner. We were able to host our first playoff game since 2016, which is a pretty good accomplishment to be able to play a home game in the, in the playoffs. Uh, it didn't go the way that we wanted. It was a tough loss, but it was a loss to a team that ended up playing in the state championship. So uh, we had a lot of uh, good things happen this year. Uh, it was a really good uh, year for us this year, and it's a good building block for uh, hopefully for next year. And I'm going to get to my 1980s PowerPoint here. I don't have the technology that everybody's using, so we'll go with this one. For the team awards, um, start out with captains. Our three seniors uh, were chosen as captains, Tim Wickup, Jacob Punt, and Boston Marlowe, they, they were dependable, showed up for practice every day, uh, set a good example, uh, just doing their jobs and uh, always putting the team first. So thanks to them and uh, a good honor for them to be our captains. 
Uh, the next award is the Scout Team MVP. And yes, Scout did help me pick this. She had a hand in this, so, uh, but it's, I, I hadn't, didn't have the heart to tell her that it really isn't named after her. The Scout Team is actually the guys that come to practice and do the stuff that the other team is going to do all week long. And the two players that we chose uh, on defense was Aiden Godel. And on offense is Jesse Keogh. They did an outstanding job, very dependable, worked really hard in practice every day and gave us the best looks that they could of the stuff we were going to see on Friday nights. Um, the next award is Rookie of the Year. That award is going to go Austin as a junior. Uh, but Austin Weezer is still chosen as, chosen as a Rookie of the Year. The first time he was in the lineup as a varsity player, and he – he played a lot defensively early on for us in, in our starting lineup in and out and then moved into the offensive line as well. So he did a lot of good work for us in the trenches and had a good year and got better as the year went on. Uh, we chose a special teams player of the year this year. It's a pretty easy choice. Uh, Benton West, uh, one of our most versatile players, and, and the numbers show that. Kind of a jack of all trades out on the football field. Uh, he did a little bit of everything. He scored by passing the ball, by running the ball, by catching the ball, by kicking the ball, and also on, an, on a punt return uh, uh, touchdown as well. So he had a lot of variety of ways that he did things, and uh, just we could move him all over and depend on him. Uh, the next award is our most improved player, and that goes to Xander Widener. Xander started out – the year had never played running back before, and uh, he liked the idea of it, and so did so did the coaching staff that we're going to try him there, and it really worked out good for us. And, and Xander really showed uh, improvement not just from last season, but all season long, learning the running back position. Um, uh, he uh, was our second leading rusher with over 800 yards. He was our leading receiver, and he uh, was fourth in tackles as a, as a defensive back. Uh, which is pretty good. He came up from his safety spot, and he was also a returner on a kickoff. So outstanding uh, year for Xander. I'm going to give a Lion Award to Connor Smith. And the Lion Award, the way I see it, is kind of an award where a coach gives it to a, a player that doesn't always show up maybe in the paper or in the box score or in the stats at the end of the year. It's just somebody that is very dependable and doesn't maybe get the recognition that you know, some of the other players do that are scoring the touchdowns and getting the yards and things like that. And Connor did do some of that for us. He, he caught uh, um, 300 and some yards of passes and a couple touchdowns. But the reason Connor gets this award is he was on the field every single play. He, he played tight end. He played uh, linebacker. He was on every single special teams that we had. And he would never ask to come out. He, he played just about every down of football that we had when the game was on the line. And he gets this year's Lion Award. The next player gets two awards. That's Hayden Reintz. Uh, he was our best lineman, and he was also our most valuable player on defense. Hayden plays nose tackle and some defensive end, and he anchored our defense. He led our team in tackles. He had a couple fumble recoveries. When I look back at the stats today, he didn't have any sacks, which is amazing, but I think it's because guys avoided him and got rid of the ball so fast because they didn't want to get tackled by Hayden. And uh, But he just had an outstanding year. And... Uh, really was the anchor of our team and, and somebody we're going to build around next year, too. And our last player is Colin Fry, also got two awards. He's our hardest worker and our most valuable player on offense. Uh, Colin passed for over 800 yards. He rushed for over 800 yards. He was our team's leading rusher as our quarterback. And he's a big reason why we outscored our opponents 2-1 to one this year, 325-176. to 176. We kind of built things around Colin with a lot of good players around him, and he really uh, ran the show well for us. <clears throat> uh, a couple other things I want to do, postseason awards. We had some all-conference players. Uh, getting second in the conference gave us five all-conference players, and those players were Colin, Hayden, Xander, Menton, and Connor. And Hayden was actually also chosen as co-MVP of the defense in the entire conference. And then our honorable mention player was Tim Wickham. Congratulations to them. Uh, we had two, not players, but members of our team were chosen as academic All-State. And it kind of, I know it's kind of weird, but that's the way that things are. And when they, they give out acad academic All-State to anybody that's a member of the team. 
and Addie and Chesney, I can't think of two more deserving people to get this award. Uh, they were our stat people for six years, and I can't think of a handful of games that they missed. Uh, they're good role models in the classroom, obviously. Everybody knows and saw the awards that they already got uh, with uh, their scholarships, and, and uh, they're going to be really missed, uh, very dependable people that we, we really appreciate what they did for the last six years. And the last award, uh, we had an All-State player, Hayden Wrights. And if you don't know how All-State football meetings go, they're, they're kind of tough to get people on as coaches go and meet. And then it's kind of a free-for-all talking about your players and trying to get them on All-State. And they pick offense first. Hayden probably should have been an All-State defensive lineman, but they happened to pick All-State first. And I nominated him at fullback, and he had such respect uh, throughout all the coaches in the room that he was, he was almost a unanimous choice of about 30 coaches in the room that were voting uh, on the All-State fullback. And Hayden did have a good year. He had over almost 350 yards total and scored three touchdowns, and he was our lead blocker for the guys that I already mentioned, that, you know, Benton and, and Xander and, and Colin, those guys that got all the yards. Hayden did a lot of damage as a fullback coming out of the backfield course. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, uh, Mr. Rosh did not cry, but he certainly did drop the baton. He was supposed to introduce me next, but that's okay. We'll forgive you, Paul. Um, the last quarter has certainly been interesting, and our musicians missed many opportunities and performances this spring. Um, but I don't want to forget all the things that we did accomplish this year. And in our school newsletter, I recounted a lot of those things. And so I won't bore you with our entire year's recap, but you'll have to go on and, and read the school newsletter for May. Um, before I do the awards, I would like to just mention a few of the honors that occurred throughout the year. Um, first of all, last summer, uh, selected for South Dakota High School Honor Choir were Cade Larson and Emily Palmer. And that is not an easy task. That is a um, high, high intensity um, audition process in which uh, students have to go through to even be considered for the group. And they are considered amongst uh, the 125 best singers in the state. Um, also last, last fall, our All-State Chorus Quartet uh, performed um, an amazing concert. And that was in Sioux Falls. And our quartet was Emily Palmer. Chesney Olson, Cade Larson, and Bryce Peterson. In uh, December, November, December, um, we had our North Area Honor Band event, and selected for that was Tim Wicca, Ashley Gustafson, Becca Hansen, and Elizabeth Strand. Some of the awards I'd like to give, the first one is the Rising Star Award, and it is for middle school students who uh, show up to their lessons, practice very hard, and show great musical promise for the future. Selected for the Rising Star, Bryn Sampson, Alex Darling, Ben Suther, Autumn Gustafson, uh, Autumn Wigleitner, excuse me, Lizzie Gustafson, uh, Tucker Joe Hardy, Eliana Darling, Daniel Person, Jake Sampson, Megan Gustafson, and Emily Hill. Selected for the Underclassmen Leadership Awards, freshmen Laney Widener and Braven Hansey. Sophomores, Becca Hansen, Olivia Dwight, and Ben Gustafson. Juniors, Olivia Ewalt, Emily Palmer, Cade Larson, Xander Widener, Bryce Peterson, Elizabeth Strand, and Sarah Hawks. The Drum Major Award goes to Ashley Gustafson. Ashley has been our drum major for the past several years and she's done an amazing job. And I just like to thank her for that. Thank you, Ashley. Moving on to our Senior Awards. Uh, students who have uh, been in band and or choir all four years. Cody Blanchard, Bailey Widener, Elizabeth Olson, Jeremiah Hurst, Gabe Smith, Nico Alvarez, and Boston Marlowe. Along with being in an ensemble for four years and also getting the Leadership Award are Tim Wicca, Brooklyn Krieger, 
and Jacob Punt. Not only being in the ensembles for four years and showing great leadership, but being outstanding senior musicians are Addie Dwight, Chesney Olson, and Ashley Gustafson. Thank you, students. I will now read the list of accomplishments for all of our students, beginning with elementary. Alexandria Darling, girls basketball manager. Brooke Dwight, volleyball manager. Lizzie Gustafson, volleyball manager, girls basketball manager. Bryn Sampson, girls basketball manager. Ben Suther, football manager. Brooklyn West, volleyball manager. Carter Glines, football manager. Eli Sampson, boys basketball manager. Max Suther, football manager. Sixth grade, Kaysen Keo, football manager. Boys basketball manager. Seventh grade, Elizabeth Sanderson, oral inter. Jake Sampson, boys basketball manager. Eliana Darling, Volleyball Stats and Oral Interp. Eighth grade, Megan Gustafson, Boys Basketball Stats, Volleyball Stats and Oral Interp. Ann Jensen, Oral Interp. Brianna Peterson, Football Stats, Boys Basketball Stats, Volleyball Stats and Oral Interp. Callie Vandervorst, Volleyball Stats and Oral Interp. Freshman, Raven Hansi, band and chorus. Amaya cable chorus. Jesse Keogh, band, chorus, football and basketball. Montana Marlowe, band, basketball and boys basketball cheerleading. Mallory Miller, band, volleyball and basketball. Keegan Shock, band. Kylie Shock, band, basketball and volleyball stats. Avery West, band, football cheerleading, volleyball stats, girls basketball stats, and yearbook. Lainey Widener, band, chorus, football cheerleading, boys basketball cheerleading, volleyball stats, girls basketball stats, yearbook, oral interp, and student council. Sophomores, Jordan Dawson, chorus and football. Olivia Dwight, Football, basketball, football stats, boys basketball stats, band, chorus, and student council. Morgan Glines, band, chorus, volleyball, basketball, and football stats. Aiden Godel, chorus, and football. Ben Gustafson, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Rebecca Hansen, volleyball, band, girls basketball stats, Chorus, Yearbook, and Oral Interp. Lillian Hermes, Basketball, Football Cheerleading, Boys Basketball Cheerleading, Band and Chorus. Katherine Jensen, Basketball, Band and Chorus. Xaviera Cable Burgett, Chorus. Hannah Miller, Volleyball, Basketball, Band, Chorus, Football Stats, Boys Basketball Stats, and Oral Interp. Jenica Nelson, basketball, band, chorus, and oral interp. And Braden Peterson, band, chorus, and football. Juniors, Tayson Adland, football. Katherine Amon, band and chorus. Braden Bow, band and chorus. Olivia Ewalt, band, chorus, yearbook, oral interp, and student council. Colin Fry, football, basketball, band, chorus, and oral interp. Aaron Heyman, football. Alyssa Hansen, band. Liberty Hermes, band, chorus, and yearbook. Sarah Hops, band. Alyssa Keogh, band, volleyball, basketball, football cheerleading, boys basketball cheerleading, chorus, and yearbook. Cade Larson, basketball, Band, chorus, and oral interp. Jason Matheson, chorus and football. Emily Palmer, football cheerleading, 
boys basketball cheerleading, band, chorus, and oral interp. Bryce Peterson, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Hayden Wrights, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Cassandra Sattler, chorus. Connor Smith, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Cooper Smith, football, band, and chorus. Elizabeth Strand, band, chorus, and oral interp. Benton West, football, basketball, and chorus. Xander Widener, football, basketball, band, chorus, and oral interp. Austin Weezer, football, band, and chorus. Seniors, Nico Alvarez, chorus and football. Cody Blanchard, chorus, football, and student council. Addison Dwight, volleyball, basketball, football stats, boys basketball stats, band, chorus, and teen teacher. Ashley Gustafson, volleyball, basketball, football cheerleading, boys basketball cheerleading, band, chorus, yearbook editor, and teen teacher. Jeremiah Hurst, chorus and student council. Brooklyn Krieger, volleyball, basketball, football cheerleading, boys basketball cheerleading, band, chorus, student council president, and teen teacher. Austin Marlowe, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Chesney Olson, volleyball, basketball, football stats, boys basketball stats, band, chorus, oral interp, and teen teacher. Jacob Punt, football, basketball, band, chorus, oral interp, and teen teacher. Brianna Schock, volleyball stats, and girls basketball stats. Gabe Smith, band, and chorus. Bailey Widener, volleyball, band, chorus, student council vice president, and Tim Wicca, football, basketball, band, and chorus. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Okay, on to girls basketball. Um, we had a pretty good year this year. We went 19 and four, which has been the first or the best record girls basketball has had for quite a few years. And, um, you know, it's contributing to all the girls' hard work, all the time they put in to, to be the best they can be. Um, to get onto some awards, this girl, she didn't play a lot. She played a little bit more when, when Chesney went down, um, played some big minutes and some big games. And our rookie of the year is for, to Jenna Nelson. Going into the year, um, for our next award, we didn't know if this girl was going to play a lot coming into it. Um, she, you know, surprised us starting practice. Um, and went, and again, went in when Chesney went down and played a lot of, a lot of good time for us. And our most improved player was Olivia Dwight. Um, the next one with these two girls, they're usually the first one in the gym. They're asking to get into the gym whenever we're not practicing. Uh, they, I mean, they live and breathe basketball. And it's the two Miller girls, Hannah Miller and Mallory, they get the Lion Award. Also, Hannah, she got honorable mention all-conference. Mallory was first team all-conference and Aberdeen News all-area team. The next, we'll do these two together, Ashley Gustafson and Brooklyn Krieger, they're captains. Um, they were also academic All-State. Um, these two girls didn't necessarily, you know, put up really big numbers, but they, they went, they filled their role and did it perfectly what, what we asked them to. Um, and I think they considered a good game as if the other, the, the players they were guarding would swear at them because they were playing such good defense. So, you know, as coaches, we love those, those players that do their role and do it, do it as well as they did. The next one is Chesney Olson. She is her captain and hardest worker. Um, it did, her year probably didn't go as how, how she wanted it to, but she still was there every time, working as hard as she can, 
Um, she would be in the weight room when, you know, just trying to get healthy when she had some of her injuries. Um, she would do stuff on the sidelines. She was always, always working hard. And in the game, she was the first one on the floor for a loose ball. And I mean, she, she was definitely the hardest worker. She was also academic All-State and was second team All-Conference. Our last player, Addie Dwight, um, she was our captain and our most valuable player. Um, she, she played really well. She, uh, I mean, there's not much, there's a lot of things you could say about her. And she had some big games with over 30 points, 20 rebounds. She had over a thousand career points about 1,700. Um, she went over 1,000 rebounds, which I think is a lot harder than scoring 1,000 points. So that's quite, a, quite an accomplishment. She was an academic All-State. She was a first-team All-Conference player. I think she's been that for three or four years now. She was our All-Conference co-MVP. Uh, she was a first-team all, first All-Stater. And she's also been a finalist for Miss Basketball. I, don't, I haven't heard anything if they've – um, crown Miss Basketball yet, but she def definitely deserves to be a finalist for Miss Basketball. Um, you know, these four seniors, they've, they've been around for a long time and playing since freshman, eighth grade year. Um, I think some of their first years, they went four and 16, but they kept working hard, uh, finished with a 19 and four record. So um, contribute a lot to them and also the other players we have. Um, we have a lot of great players coming back. Um, can't wait to get Next year started, hopefully we can get some team camps going in the summer to just keep working on our game. So, uh, but credit to the girls, they've been playing hard, they've been working hard and they definitely deserve what, what they did this year. So with that, we will continue on to Coach Rosh with Boys of Basketball. Am I on? Yes, you're on. Okay, thanks. And I don't believe I, I got yelled at by Miss Weezer for not introducing her, but I don't believe she introduced Coach Alberts. So I will, in his post talk, I will talk about Coach Alberts a little bit. I, I just want to congratulate Coach Alberts and, and Coach Ogren and Coach Erickson and all the girls on a really outstanding year. Uh, from an outside view as a fan, it was fun to watch. I think you provided a lot of great entertainment and uh, brought a lot of pride to our community. It was, a, it was as good a year as you could hope for. I know it didn't quite end the way, the way that you wanted it to, but it was, it was sure fun to watch and uh, we appreciate your efforts. And uh, I thought coach Alberts did an outstanding job and can congratulate him along with the girls. Let's get on to the uh, boys awards here. Uh, we finished with a record of nine and 13. And when you say nine and 13, that doesn't always sound the greatest, but if you saw any of our games, uh, there wasn't a game all year that we weren't competitive in. Uh, we played a lot of nail biters. Uh, we won some, won a few and lost a few. Uh, once we got established about mid season and got our feet under us and figured out how we wanted to play and uh, figured out our roles a little bit better, I thought we became a pretty tough team and by tournament time, and I, and I, I know this uh, from, from, a fa uh, from a, it's a fact that teams in our region, uh, Everdeen Christian, who was probably the best team in our region, uh, their coach, after we played them in the region uh, tournament and they beat us in a, in a hard fought game, he, he shook my hand and he said, we did not want you guys to be in our bracket. And everybody in the, in the division felt like that. And, I, and we knew that too. We knew we were playing at a good level at the end of the year, which is our goal. Always, uh, our teams always don't maybe start out the fastest, but we, we try to finish strong, and I felt our team did this year. Um, we defeated Wilmot in the, in the tournament and it provided one of the best moments of the year, if I can get my 1980s technology to work here again. When Colin hit the shot and it provided that, this is one of my favorite pictures, and I'm going to keep this forever. If you can just see the emotion on the faces of those guys when Colin hit the three-quarter court shot, there isn't a guy there that isn't celebrating, probably more than Colin even did, which is a sign of a team that's playing for each other, and uh, that's always our goal. 
and uh, it was quite a special moment. And uh, managers included, you can see the guys in the back. It was a pretty, pretty cool moment. Okay, let's get on to our awards, our team awards, uh, captains. The same guys that were captain for football were also our basketball captains, three seniors. Tim, Jacob, and Boston didn't see a lot of playing time, probably not as much as they wanted, uh, but never complained and accepted their roles, came to work every day in practice, uh, put the team first ahead of themselves, were always positive, were always trying to help in any way that they could, and their leadership was, was appreciated. Uh, the next award we're going to do is Six Man Award, and that award goes to Cade Larson, and he gets this award kind of a it was kind of a year where Cade started out as a senior, and about middle of the year we made an adjustment, and and Cade moved to the bench and accepted that role, and uh, was all about the team, and uh, put them first, and he accepted and did that. He played well off the bench for us, he gave us the spark that we needed, uh, moments of the games that we needed, and and uh, really did a nice job in that role, and and uh, like I said, put the team first and very unselfish with a good attitude. Our rookie of the year was Hayden Reitz. Again, he's a junior, but his first year of playing varsity basketball. And he moved into the starting lineup about midseason. Uh, kind of brought us a presence that we, we needed, a, a kind of a physical style, and, and kind of knew his role and played his role and fit in well and was able to hit a few shots when we needed him. I guarded a lot of guys that were bigger than he was, but you know, physical enough to hold his own and played his role really well. Uh, our most improved player goes to Bryce Olson, or excuse me, Bryce Peterson. I coached a guy named Bryce Olson in Webster, and sometimes when you get old, you get things mixed up. Bryce Peterson is our most improved player. He really had a really good year, and he's kind of misleading a little bit. His stats at the end of the year ended up 9, 9.5 points a game. He was third on the team in, in scoring, and he was our leading rebounder, about five and a half rebounds a game. Uh, but Bryce, if you saw us play most nights, was going up against guys that were a little bit bigger. And, uh, you know, he just battled that all year long, both on both ends of the floor. And by the end of the year, he was a real force for us down low, especially on the offensive end. And uh, I think he just got better and better as the year went on, looking forward to, to big things for him uh, next year. Uh, next award is our defensive player of the year goes to Xander Widener. Again, if you saw us play, Xander is pretty – Disruptive for the other team. We played on the top of our zone a lot of times and uh, really wreaked a lot of havoc. He's athletic, jumps well, anticipates well. Uh, he had 65 steals this year, which led the team. And if you average that out, it's three steals a game. That's pretty pretty good stat. Uh, he was our second leading rebounder with 100 rebounds this year. And again, he was very versatile. We, if we had to move him down low, he could do that too. Uh, but he was our uh, defend defensive player of the year. Offensive player of the year goes to Benton West. Benton really had a good year scoring the basketball. He, he averaged 12.4 points a game, which was second on the team. And uh, he, got, he got guarded by the other team's best perimeter defender most nights. They, they knew that his ability to score was a big part of our team, and he'd often see the best defender. And as the year went on, Benton learned how to move a little bit better without the ball, how to find ways to get open, how to find different ways to score. And uh, he was a threat from the three-point line at any time he was open. He led our team with 51 threes. And Benton also a hard worker, puts time in. He's usually the last guy to, you know, when we turn the lights out at the end, working on his offensive game and uh, in the gym after practice. And, and uh, again, looking for big things out of him next year as well, too. Our last uh, player award goes to Colin Fry. And Colin was our hardest worker and MVP this year. Uh, Colin just, uh, he, he's kind of a leader for us too. He doesn't say a whole lot, uh, but he is a, he really sets the tone with his attitude and with his toughness. Uh, he was our leading scorer, 14 points a game, 14 and a half. He led our team in assists. He was second on our team in steals. He was third in rebounds. So he did a lot of things really well in all different c categories. He's an all around player. He, on defense, we used him inside and out. And wherever he went, he, he battled as hard as he could and, and gave the best effort that he could. And he was, ran the point for us. We kind of, you know, he kind of ran the show and, and uh, distributed the ball where it needed to go. Uh, last awards, we had some postseason awards as well. 
uh, all conference and our, when we choose our all conference, it's a little bit different than in football. We go in, in basketball and have a meeting and, and it's pretty difficult to get all conference. Our, we had a tough league this year and, uh, you know, we went two and five in the conference. When you go back and look at the scores of the games, you know, we, you see we got three all conference players. Well, we only won two conference games, but we played everybody to the wire, including Everdeen Christian scores. They went undefeated in the conference. Their toughest game was to us both times that they played us. So I think we had, you know, these, these athletes deserve to be on this team. And Colin Fry and Benton West were second team uh, choices, and Bryce Peterson was an honorable mention. Yeah, and I will, that's with that. I just want to say one more thing. I think we had good years with our boys, both football and basketball. Uh, really good years. I had fun. Uh, I think we got better. I think we set up a good foundation. And once we get uh, going this summer, our guys are dedicated. And we want to come back really strong next year and build on what we did this year. Thank you. And Mr. Nip and Mr. Brown are up next, I believe. The final awards to be announced tonight are for Outstanding Academic Achievement and Performance in the Classroom, and they will be announced by our principal, Mr. Brown. Good evening, everyone. Our first award is the LHS Best and Brightest. And this award is presented to students who have earned honor roll status for all four quarters of the year. Nicholas Alvarez, Addison Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, Jeremiah Hurst, Brooklyn Krieger, Chesney Olson, Elizabeth Olson, Jacob Punt, Bailey Widener, and Tim Wicca. Our junior class, Tayson Odlin, Catherine Amon, Olivia Ewalt, Colin Fry, Liberty Hermes, Alyssa Keel, Dason Matheson, Emily Palmer, Bryce Peterson, Hayden Reitz, Lysander Sattler, Connor Smith, Cooper Smith, Elizabeth Strand, and Zander, Zander Widener. For the sophomore class, Olivia Dwight, Morgan Glines, Ben Gustafson, Rebecca Hansen, Katherine Jensen, Hannah Miller, Jenica Nelson, and Braden Peterson. For the freshman class, Raven Hansey, Parker Holler, Jesse Keel, Montana Marlowe, Mallory Miller, Avery West, and Laney Widener. For students in junior high that meet the honor roll for all four quarters, we have the pause award. For the eighth grade class, Megan Gustafson, Emily Hill, Ann Jensen, Emily Jensen, Tawny Nelson, Brianna Peterson, and Callie Vandervorst. Seventh grade class, Eliana Darling, Danielle Hoops, Jordis Jenner, Daniel Person, and Jacob Sampson. Our Students of the Year. This award is presented to students in each of the areas of business, English, math, science, social studies, and vocational studies. These students are chosen by the instructors and they meet the qualities of a superior student. Consideration is given to scholastic ability seriousness of approach to studies, and cooperative attitude. English Students of the Year, Ashley Gustafson and Chesney Olson. Science Students of the Year, Alyssa Keel and Colin Fry. Math Students of the Year, Ashley Gustafson, Chesney Olson. Social Studies Students of the Year, Addie Dwight, Hayden Reintz, Olivia Dwight, and Parker Holler. Business Students of the Year, Ashley Gustafson and Colin Fry. Vocational Student of the Year, Jeremiah Hurst. Our last award of the night 
is the principal's award. This award is presented each year to the girl and boy in each of the high school classes with the highest grade point average. Senior class, we have a tie with the girls, Addie Dwight, Ashley Gustafson, and Chesney Olson. And the principal award for the boy goes to Nico Alvarez. Juniors, Alyssa Keel and Colin Fry. Sophomores, we have Morgan Glines, Ben Gustafson, and Braden Peterson. Freshman class, Montana Marlowe and Jesse Keel. I'd like to close tonight's program recognizing Tony Brown. Mr. Brown is retiring at the end of the month. On behalf of the Langford Area School, I would like to thank him for 21 years of dedicated service to our school and students. I have had the pleasure of working with him for the past 20 years, and he's not only a dedicated hard worker, always looking out for our students' best interest, but he is also just a friendly, great all-around guy. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for being someone who we could always count on to get the job done and get it done well. We will miss you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'd also like to thank you, the parents, for another year of great support, especially during this last quarter. I know our teachers are very grateful for all the help um, that you have provided to helping them um, provide students with the best educational opportunities we could through the remote flex learning. And again, I'd like to thank you for all your support of all of our activities. Um, our success is really dependent upon your support. And I tell you what, it's just top notch here at Langford area and we really thank you. Again, I'd like to thank everyone who joined us um, as we honored our students tonight. And just to keep in mind that this program has been recorded. So if you know anyone that missed it tonight, um, they can do it on Facebook, YouTube channel, or on Venture TV On Demand. Thank you and good night.